welcome to Dance Papi. Welcome to the video number three or class number three. Um, today we're going to be covering variations on Tumbao rhythm, which is one of the main rhythm cells that I have already explained to you on video number two. Today we're going to be expanding that to two drums and to three drums. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to review for you where, sort of where we ended on video number two which was the tumbao rhythm for guaracha in medium tempo speed. So let's try it. One and two and one, two, three, four. So that was our medium tempo son rhythm, or it's the basic rhythm for this big umbrella called salsa music that covers so many different styles. That was where we ended on video number two. So I will not describe this in detail, but I'm going to bring you a different variation that we didn't do on the previous video. Hmm? So uh, on that one I'm going to break down very well. So on this one it's going to sound like this. One, two, one, two, three. Tumbao uh, for I, I call that aggressive tumbao, which is for lack of a better expression, a tumbao that's gonna be pushing a little bit more. When are you gonna use that tumbao? You're gonna use that tumbao over horn sol solos or mambos. You may use it uh, when the lead vocalist is singing the coro and pregon session, the improvisation section with the chorus and refrain in the salsa music or in any section where you want to really push the tumbao a little bit forward in the beat, not necessarily because you're rushing, but rather having a little, a few different accents in it. Uh, it's also a tumbao that you can play in faster tempos, and I will explain to you very, very soon how. So let's first review it. Your first bar of 4-4 four, four or count of 4-4 four, four, is gonna be the regular tumbao. One and two and three and four. And we already went through that on the previous video. One and two and three and four and. So now we're gonna add a second bar that is gonna be a little different because it's gonna be more balanced in between both hands. Now we're gonna go for the second count of four four, bass with the left hand, slap with the right, followed by a slap with the left before you go to the low drum, two open tones. Slap on the left, to finish with the two open tones on the right hand. So that is gonna sound like this at tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one. Okay, so an explanation why that allows you to play a little faster. Because instead of going heel to slap, on beat two and having to rush there, now your slap on beat two is gonna be done with this hand while the other one can already be already traveling toward the low drum. So it's a little bit more subdivided. So it's going like this, one and two, right? So this is the first thing you need to practice for this tumbao. Practice bass, slap, slap. If you're not used to do bass into a slap with the same hand, rather quick, this is going to be a good exercise for you. One and two. Now we're going to continue and put the two strokes on the low drum. One. One and two and three. Slap on the left to follow. One and two and three and two open tones with the right hand and you're done. So the second bar is going to sound like this. OK, 
Okay, a tempo with both bars. One and two and one, two, three, four. Agresivo. Agresivo because he's putting all these slaps. Tipata and tipata and tipata and tipata is really pushing the, the, the beat more than what it would be a very kosher or straight tumbao. If I want to do this aggressive tumbao with more slaps and put a single tone in the low drum as we had seen in the previous video, I can still do that. I just simply go bass, slap, slap, tone, heel, toe. So that, I can, I can still have the same choices. What it makes a difference is that on beat one, on the second bar, instead of going heel, toe, slap, I'm going bass, slap, slap, bass, slap, slap. slap to that aggressive tumbao. We're going to put on the first count of 4-4 four, four, a slap in the following place. One and two and three and four and. So now I went one and two and three and four and. So when I do one and two and three bass, back up this left hand, bring it back up, do a slap there. And four and. So now I have there the same slap on beat end of three or the eighth note at the end of three that I'm gonna have on the next bar after I hit the low drum and three and so we're gonna have this sound in both bars slap tone tone and that pushes it even more so here we go one and traditional sense of playing, you wouldn't be backing out that hand and making all those slaps. Mm -hmm. I've heard refer before that sometimes when you play, you know, more Cuban style, faster tempo music, meaning more contemporary music, and there is a solo, then you can back out your left hand a little bit, back it out, and start transforming all those notes that were front notes into slaps. And then your tumbao starts being a lot more edgy. Okay. This is an example of 
stylistic sty uh, styles to, to create a different groove within the same marcha or tumbao. So since I just did this one with the slaps on the back, I'm going to go very slow over it and I'm going to show it to you. One. Slap is already on an upper beat, which is not the regular spot. One and two and three and one. that the slaps creates to pata it pat kum pata kum kum packing it to pata it pat kum pata kum kum go very slow and then start spinning it up and start giving it your own swing your own sabor one and two and three and four and one a very basic three drum tumbao pattern so on this one I'm, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to go to the left side now when I play with three drums hmm, I play lowest on my right hand middle drum on my left higher drum in front of me in this case I have these smaller drums called the rumba drums by LP this is a 12 inch drum this is also another 12 and this is an 11 the regular set by them is 12, 11, and 10. The 10 is way too small for me, so I don't use that one. I have small hands, so I have no problem playing my main marcha or tumbao in an 11 drum. I like this setup because it allows me to play melodies, multiple melodies, in a small surface. These drums are small. I can put two microphones, they get very well picked up, 
and it works really well for me in small setups. Huh? So uh, as opposed to the, the drums you've seen in the previous videos. Uh, so uh, so at, at least you know a little bit about the gear that I'm playing. These are entry level drums. Once again, just to prove you that you don't have to buy a Porsche to run hard to drive. You can just get a, a drum that you can afford and the best drum you're going to play in your life is the one that you have in front of you right at that particular moment. So stick to that. Don't worry about the equipment. The equipment gets better with time. So uh, lower, medium, high. And I don't have this cranked up way, way too high. This quinto could really go high, but I'm just, I, I'm keeping it in a medium pitch so I can play it as, as my main drum. So, uh, now, in this particular tumbao, I'm going to teach you how to go to the left side as opposed to what we've been doing, which is all the time going to the right side. Some drummers prefer to play with the, uh, this third drum here, and I refer to that as being right-handed heavy, because a lot of the movements from one drum to the other one are going to be done on three drums with the right hand. However, those drummers also reach with the left in front of them. That's a... a a choice. Uh, if I play with four, then I would put my four drum in front of me. Uh, and then from five and up, it's up for grabs. Do you, do you know, I'm not an octopus. I play mainly with two drums, three drums. It's more than what is needed. Four drums is an amazing amount of drums. And then to, you know, to populate yourself around with a lot of many, many, many drums is something that a drummer may use for a melody, pleasure, and tuning, but it's not necessarily uh, something that it's you know, very needed in a, from a folkloric sense. Uh, so let's just learn that on three drums, which is just very basic. So now I'm gonna play uh, my first bar like this, one and two and three and four and, and then on my second bar, I'm gonna, after the heel toe, one and two, after this slap, I'm gonna go with this drum hand to this side. I'm gonna play a slap coming back with my right hand. And then the opens coming back are gonna be alternating. So this is and three and four and. Again, one and two and three and four and. Slow. So let's just say that I do that on my second bar if I'm playing two, three clave. So I'm just gonna go one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one and two. Now I have choices. I'm gonna go there. And the next one. choices now I can go uh, in each direction uh, I can do a single tone on the low drum I can do a single tone on my left and I'm gonna show you right now how I did that the single tone on the left side one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so I did Thank you. 
one that I just played, very, very slow, because there is something different there. One and two and three and four and slow. One and two and stop. So now I'm not going to do one and two and three and four and, but I'm actually doing one and two and three and four and slow. Give it a little flavor. One and two and three. And finish that bar. One and two and three. Up. Second bar. One. One and two and three and four. Or going to going to the left. One and two and three and four and one and. style of drumming but all this is a part of what you're gonna be playing when you're playing a faster tempo in tumbao you're playing a faster tempo in tumbao and you have three drums you can start playing more melodically once you know what you're doing remember never sacrifice your role of keeping tempo for your personal pleasure of making a variation always stick to what's gonna be the winner for the music that you're playing with and for the dancers that you are in front of so uh, when you're gonna sacar la mano, as they say in Spanish, when you put when you're gonna put your hand out of your groove for a reason, you need to have a determination, a goal, and you need to know what you're doing because you don't want to sacrifice your groove and finding yourself that when you were coming back, you didn't either you didn't come back on time or it didn't quite fit. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice to practice and to do all those things. Try at home with a metronome and try where it works during rehearsal time. Try a couple of little things that you feel a little risky, but when you are in the gig and you're in front of the audience and you're playing or you're playing a recording, you know, you need to feel secure and sure about what you're doing. And it's always better to play less and do your job than playing more and not fulfilling your commitment to the timing and to the band. So uh, I think that's going to be my lesson for today. Um, I want to see you on the next Dance Papi video uh, where we're going to see rumba and wawanko and jambu and Colombia possibly. And I also want to invite you to my website musiccandela.com. If you want to see me in uh, Facebook, you can also check me out at Edgardo Cambon in Facebook. And of course through Dance Papi because I'm also going to be uh, responding to emails through that website as well. So. Enjoy the dance videos, the music videos, and enjoy the site. Thank you.